and this is the workbook for designer affinity designer workbook on the iPad now the geometry tools are a little more limited in the iPad than they are on the desktop and the workbook is talking about using compounds well although you can create compounds it doesn't actually call them compounds <clears throat> now if we select the four white shapes one two three and four as suggested in the book and then on the toolbar we select the add option the shapes will be added together and the new compound will adopt the properties of the lowest shape okay we've got there now we've got geometry on the left hand column there and we click add now you can see it's added them together and created curves but it's not an expanded compound um, as, as evidenced in the book. But what you've got is all of those different shapes combined into one. Now, deconstructing that is the problem um, on the iPad. And although it says you can deconstruct it in the workbook, you can on the desktop but you cannot in the workbook. If you use any of the other geometry options, <clears throat> you'll end up with some rather strange results. And I would suggest in this case, you experiment because what you're left with there is quite nice. It's all of those separate curves in one, um, one piece. Now, if you look at this, you will see that clear selection, add, set current selection. That's that one there where they're all selected. We've added them together. And that's the end of it. Clear selection. That's that. That's the history. Now that's all we can do in geometry on the iPad. There are other... There are other options, but they don't appear to do anything at this stage um, that, will, that I would consider to be core tools. Because in the workbook, I've just turned the page, they're still talking about the compound. A selected compound can be broken up into its constituent parts by selecting release compound from the layer menu. Well, we've got the layer menu. I see nothing there that says release compound. Merge down. No, there's nothing there. And there's nothing in layers. So there's nothing you can do with that. Normal. Nothing reflect. That's just changing what you're looking at there. And it's curve, set to curves. Cancel. You can rename the new layer, but that's fine. But you're not going to be able to deconstruct it, are you? And there's nothing there that changes it. So back we go to there. Layers, layer options. And that's your curves. That's it for geometry on the iPad.